doing today? What's today? Monday. Quite possibly Monday. So I've been pretty bored, as, as you all have. Hope everybody's staying safe and isolating. So I, I have a, a concept notation that I kind of came up with for uh, hand pan notation that um, is visual and also showing rhythm by counting. Um, you count, for those that don't know, you count uh, rhythm one and two and three and four and and so on like that but um, you can also count it one e and a uh, two e and a uh, right so for this let me let me show you up close how's everyone doing hi guys so is this backwards this is probably backwards isn't it i'm gonna have to restart this video aren't i or can i switch it now is this backwards if this is backwards, I'm going to restart the video. You guys, is this backwards? Because I think I forgot to mirror it. No, wait, maybe I can mirror it right now. Nope. Um, what's this? What's this button do? Did that fix it? Wait, wait a second. Maybe this one fixes it. Where is it? Oh, this is it. This fixes it. There we go. Better now? <laughs> All right. Oh, this must fix it. Here we go. This is definitely getting deleted. But everybody, all 11 of you are real lucky to be seeing this right now. I hope you can hear this music. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. How do I mirror this thing? Here we go. Yeah. All right, everybody. Is this regular now? Can everyone see this? Is this regular now, everybody? Yes? Okay. <laughs> Alright, let me stop this. Hold on. How do I stop this cool music? I kind of don't want to stop it, but we need to do a lesson here. No, no. What am I doing? Ah! Oh, God. All right, everybody, this is as good as it's gonna get today. So, no, this isn't good. Are we, we're back. <laughs> okay, here's the, here's the concept notation. Sorry about that, everybody. Jeez, it's a rough Monday. All right, three, four. One. And then we have Numbers one, two, and three written, right? So that's representing the order of the notes you hit. When you see the notes all colored in, you're hitting them at the same time, okay? So that would be a three note chord on uh, one, and then two and three would be one, two, three in that order. And then the same thing repeats, right? So you get one, two, and three, one, two, and three, all right, so let me demonstrate that on the hand pan. And this is just a concept. So, you know, if you guys have anything to, to add. Okay. You never know what you're gonna get with a, with a Jacob Cole alive, I'll say that. Uh. <laughs> 
How's everyone doing? I can't see any, any, uh, what people are saying anymore. Here we go. All right. So here's, um, kind of what I was just explaining. The black dots represent notes hitting at the same time, right? And so how I kind of drew it is, you know, your typical four and four. So, you know, like this pan, this long though, I usually, I have it so it's like this, where the note one is towards my belly button. But for this uh, to work better on everybody's layout, I think if you split it so it's like there's no note, at your belly button and you have notes one and two on your uh, right side and your left side and that kind of splits the whole pan in half, right? So that's kind of the way to approach it with this um, concept notation here. God, what did I do? Here we go. Alright, so beats one, this is three four time, okay? So there's three um, beats per measure. Even though you see four Hand pan things don't let it trick you, okay? Because we're really counting from here. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. So it'd be like this. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And so again, I have numbers one, two, and three written on the notes on that, and that's to show you the order that you do them in, but the rhythm is two and three, right? So one, two, and three. One, Two and three. And this is in three, four overall. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two and three. Okay? So does that does that make sense? How's everybody doing? Does that make sense? All right, so here is another example. Um, now we're doing the same thing in 3-4 still, but now we're adding an extra note. This makes sense? And so now we're doing 1, 2, and 3, and 1, 2, and 3, and 1, 2, and 3, and 1. Good, I'm happy this makes sense. It kind of came to me the other night, and my wife has this cool tablet and a little stylus, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up with this kind of new uh, notation that can possibly help me and others. So it's still, it's still in pro work in progress. You know, I'm gonna work on some more things on it tonight, actually, some more advanced concepts with it, but this is the basic um, concept of it. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad it makes sense. You know, I'm just trying to make things as simple as possible. So, let me play this for you now. Okay, so for beat one, we have the same thing, but now we're adding another note. So I'm using thumb, middle, thumb, middle, right? Split on the right side of the pan to create a four note chord at the same time. That's why they're all black. That means hitting at the same time for one, okay? And then for two and three and, we have one, two, three, four written. So that shows us that we're hitting those one at a time, arpeggiating it, um, in that order, okay? And that's the rhythm. So if we put this together, and this is the same thing as this, it's just written out longer, we would get this. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one. And it's still Three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and one. So there's a pause after one, right? And I, 
I could write that with what's going on. Internet connection. We okay on the internet connection? But you know, less is more. So I think if I wrote an arrest, it would just be something else to look at. So if you're just counting it, one, two, and three, and that creates the rest just by not having anything else written after the one, right? Okay? So one. Make sense? How's everyone doing? As good as we can be, right? This is a concept hand pan notation here in 3 4 time. And this should work on any scale as long as you have the pan set up where the lowest notes are towards your stomach. All right, let's see what else we got here. Hey, Sean. All right, so now we're going to try the first one that we were doing, right? We're going to do it four times, and then we go to this bottom one, which is the same thing, but mirrored, right, on the left side of the pan, four times, and then back, okay? So that's what that looks like. And I, uh, I can upload this stuff for those that are interested. Uh, but it's like I said, it's still a concept. Um, still working on it. Cool. Glad you guys like it. It means a lot. All right, so here's, here's how this would go. So the top part times four would be one, two, and three. Nice swish. And then switch back. Right, so you get a little waltz kind of thing going between two different chords. And, um, Okay, so I'm doing thumb, middle, middle to create my three notes. And then when I'm done doing that times four, I'm switching. So my left hand is now hitting thumb, middle, and then my right hand is on top hitting the top note. So you get this. The hands are switching places. Okay? So here's this. Again. Okay, so that is that's how you do that, and that should work on any scale. Would be cool if we could have this stuff. Cool, I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm a visual learner, so, you know, but like tab, at the same time, tab never worked for me to just see numbers written. So it's kind of, I need a combination of things, and this is kind of what I came up with. Um, so let's see the next one. All right, so now this is the four note chord, right? We're still in three, four time. Now we have the four note chord starting it on one, and then two and three and going up the right side, one, two, three, four, arpeggiating it, and then coming back to one to keep it in three. Okay, so it'd be one, two and three and one, two and three and one, okay? And then, and then you do that four times, and then switch, 
to the left hand on the bottom and do the same thing. Won't work on your own, own Leo. Ah, well, you know what? That's interesting. I, wa I wonder if it would work on my Aegean either. Yes, yeah, some scales are going to be more dissonant than others, you know? So if you're finding um, dissonance in that particular four notes, maybe just move it slightly and, and figure out a different four notes or three notes that work. You know, this is definitely not set in stone. This is kind of just a concept and, and uh, yeah, make it, make it work, you know, Ignacio, make it work. You can do it. All right. So um, let me demonstrate this now. Thanks to everybody for hanging in here. 15 people. This is, this is a record. I'm glad you guys are digging this. Hope everyone's staying safe. <clears throat> so, no. Okay. Top times four would be one, two, is going to be switching because on this one, unlike the other one, the once we get to the, the fourth note on the arpeggio, it goes right back to the chord, right? So when you're doing that on the fourth time of a chord, you have to switch instantly, right? So here's what, here's what would happen a little quicker, and it's, it's tricky. So take it slow. dissonant on your scale, pick a different four, you know? Let's see. idea to share with you guys. I'll be working on more uh, advanced concepts of this um, tonight. How's everyone doing? Let's see here. Let's, let's show you the last thing, okay? So, Now uh, we're in 6, 8, so we're still kind of in the 3, because I just really love 3 and everything it has to offer. So 6, 8. Awesome, I'm glad you're, lo you're loving the lessons. 
gives me an incentive to keep doing it. All right, so, and um, yes, yeah, so we have six, eight here. All right, so now we have, we have no filled in, we have no filled in notes, right? So that means there's nothing hitting at the same time on this one, right? So this is all a linear thing. And I talked about this in my live lesson uh, the last live lesson I did, actually, this was the, uh, maybe some of you recognize it from, from what's happening here. Um, I talked about it, and I will demonstrate it now, but this is what it looks like, right? So we're going to do the top part times four, and we want to do this dynamically, too, which means soft to loud and vice versa, not all one uh, velocity. And then we go into the bottom part, okay? And... Uh, Basically, this is where we start, uh, and we're leaving out the switching between the bottom two notes. Okay, so this is in six eight, one two three four five six, one two three four five six, and here's uh, here's what would happen. What's so funny, Kristen? Why are you, why are you making faces? You're the one that make, puts me up to do this stuff. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? And it says one, two, three. We want to alternate when we're doing this the whole time, right? Constantly, right, left. So we get we go like this. One, two, three, right? Because that's the order that we're doing it in. Okay, one, two, three, and then if you look at the next one, it goes right into it. Four, five, six. One. basically going like this and then back down and then switching and leaving out that first note and hitting the other the second note Here's what that would sound like fast. time we're not hitting both notes one and two at the same time because usually that's pretty dissonant right so that's the kind of idea behind this to do like a six eight thing like that pan notation. Seven will be next, maybe. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson today, and I hope everyone's staying safe. Um, and yeah, and also I'm teaching privately more than ever now, obviously, so if anybody wants to really get into this stuff, um, send me a PM, and uh, we can set up a time, and we can uh, get into this stuff one-on-one, uh, -on -one, which is always the best way to learn. So I hope everyone is well. And uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the notation ideas. Cool. I'm glad you guys found that helpful and, and like uh, this notation because 
it helps me, you know. So now I think tonight what I'm going to work on is 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 uh, doing that notation for sixteenth notes instead of just eighth notes, right? So doing a groove like this. I'll keep you guys posted. Stay well, everybody. Stay well.